I don't ever remember a fog like this one. This is pretty thick, all right, Roy. But it's not what I'd call a great fog. I've been in some great ones. November 82, great fog. April 84, great fog. July 87. Let me guess, great fog. No, but the next month, great fog. Logan Tower says Brian just landed in Boston. This is the stupidest thing Brian has ever done, and he once painted me blue. As I recall, you did some pretty foolish things when you were chasing after Carol. Me? How about walking your dog around her block for six hours just so you could casually run into her as she left her home? Oh, yeah. Last couple of hours, I had to carry Ranger on my shoulders. Good news, folks. The fog is lifting and Aeromass Flight 160, comfort service to Boston, will be boarding momentarily. Well, I gotta go. Where are you going? To fulfill my mission in life. Every time Carol lays waste to one of you Hackett boys, I have to pick up the pieces. You're going to the Prudential building? Joe, Carol is not going to show up. Brian's going to be left there devastated. Well, I don't think it'll be that bad. Oh, no. Remember how you felt when she broke up with you? You cried on my shoulder for two weeks. My skin's still a little pruney. You want some company? Joe, that's very sweet of you. Hey. Brian would do the same for me. Well, I'll go anyway. Hey, Roy, you need a couple of seats on your next flight to Boston. Yes. Gee, guys, I'm all sold out. Why don't you fly your own plane? Oh, that's right. Someone stole it. <laughs> Where's my head? <laughs> we gotta get on that flight. What are we gonna do? Just follow my lead. Luann, and this is my husband, Herb. Woo, look at there. We're going to be sitting right behind him on the plane. Isn't that great? I hope y'all like to talk. We just love to talk. <laughs> you know, Herb's in insurance, and I just found the Lord. And you know, the Lord wants you to buy more insurance. You know, Edward, I wouldn't mind spending one more night on the island. I'll go exchange the tickets. <laughs>